In this lesson, we're going to add additional tests for base icon component and check that we can render particular icons, meaning that whenever we're going to pass probe name with the particular icon name, we're going to receive proper markup of the specified icon. Since inside base icon component we are extracting particular icon by using probe name out of icons object, and this icons object is defined inside icons.ts module. It is basically a mapping between icon names and corresponding icon view components. So now we're basically going to write the test, which will ensure that anytime we're going to pass particular icon name to base icon component, we're going to get proper icon component markup. I'm going to copy over the skeleton of the previous test another new one. Here we're going to check that a particular icon can be rendered. Let's also copy over the code to render the component. But before generalizing this test, I prefer to keep it simple and write the test which is going to ensure that clock icon can be rendered. So firstly we're going to write the specific test and later we're going to generalize it. And by the way, this is a good candidate to demonstrate another feature of the vtest called snapshot tests. We're basically going to check that the markup of the icon component looks exactly like we expect. And for this I'm going to write the following expectation. Let's check that the rendered markup of this component will not be changed in the future. For this I'm gonna use method called to match snapshot. And just because we have used shallow mount function to render this component, we have received just a stub instead of an SVG code of the component. But in this case, we have to ensure that proper icon markup will be rendered, so shallow mount function is not gonna work in this case. I'm gonna replace it with mount function, and we'll get the full code of an SVG icon. That's what we need for this test. And as a side effect, if we use the match snapshot function in the test, when the first time this test gets executed, it is going to generate snapshots folder with the snapshot of the value that we have specified while colon expect function. In this case, this snapshot contains the rendered markup of an SVG icon. But just because we have ran this test the first time when using a shallow mount function instead of a mount, this snapshot contains stop instead of an icon component markup. So we'll have to regenerate this snapshot, and we can do this by pressing U in the terminal. And now that snapshot is regenerated, we can take a look inside the snapshot file again, and here we're seeing the markup of an SVG icon this time. And from now on, whenever we're gonna run this test, it is always going to pass, unless we have modified the markup of the clock icon component. So for example in here if I'll change an icon name, I'm gonna render play icon instead of a clock icon, just because snapshots still stores markup of a clock icon component. The test is going to fail, because now rendered markup corresponds to the play icon component, not the clock icon, which is stored inside a generated snapshot. But of course we have to run this test for every icon in the project, not just a clock icon. I'm going to use parameterized test by colon method each, and then I'm going to pass an array which contains all icon names used in the project. But to avoid passing all these names manually, let's better make this part dynamic. I'm basically going to extract all the keys of an icon's object, and this way we're gonna get a new array that contains only keys of this object, and keys are icon names. We can see that all these keys correspond to icon names. So we have extracted all those keys and passed them as an array into this each method. Let's take a look what this array looks like. I'm gonna print out this array in the console, and here we go, this array contains all icon names. So now it's time to generalize this test. I'm gonna use placeholder instead of a hard coding icon name in the description. And then let's accept 
I can name in this test and pass it down further to the base icon component as a prop. But just because prop name is not just a string, but an icon name type, let's explicitly cast this value to icon name type like so. And there we go, now this test is passing for all icons in the project. There may be a case where there will be some issues related to snapshots, so it might make sense to regenerate all these snapshots by pressing U. And after doing that, all these tests are supposed to pass. And of course, this time our file with a snapshot is going to contain the markup for every icon component in the project. And if markup of any of those components will be even slightly changed, this test is going to throw an error, because it checks strictly that the markup should match exactly the markup stored in this snapshot file. So let's demonstrate this. I'm going to intentionally swap two keys around inside icons object, so that now this object has a mismatch and stores wrong view components under different keys. And indeed, test is throwing an error right now, because markups of some components do not correspond to proper ones. At the end, let's run all tests in the project by pressing A. And all of them are also passing. Let's continue in the next lesson.